Denver Post. Hey, Will, <clears throat> good to see you. Uh, since you've been back in Denver, who's caught your eye uh, in these pickup runs? Anybody stand out? Um, that's some good runs. I've only been back for a day. Uh, uh, yesterday was the first day I did runs with the team. Um, I mean, I pretty much know what everybody, everyone could do, so it was just good to have everyone back. Everyone looked good. Um, was playing good. It was good runs. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Hey, Will. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's season 10 for you. Um, how are you thinking about that in terms of um, the longevity of your career, how fortunate it has to be in this space where you've played for so long, and then also just how do you feel going into this camp? Um, definitely a milestone. Anytime you can do a decade in, in anything um, that's special, I think it speaks to your consistency and um, perseverance and things of that nature. So definitely uh, proud of myself for that. Um, looking forward to training camp, looking forward to preseason, looking forward to getting this thing started. Um, I'm, I'm just very excited to be honest with you, just to um, get back um, and compete. Um, I'm just ready to get to it, man. I'm just chomping at the bits to get back in and play. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Will, good to see you. Uh, I know that the last couple of seasons, they've, they've just been so condensed and there's there's been a lot going on over the course of these last couple of years. Were you able to get away at all during this this little break here? And it sounds like you're refreshed and ready to get back and get started. Um, a little bit, but I didn't want to get away too much. Um, this is the best I felt going into a season in two years. So um, I, I feel like I'm rejuvenated, really. Um, I got to really work on my game this off season. I, I didn't get to do that last year. So I'm, like I said, I'm just really excited. I wanted to stay in the space of uh, of basketball. Last time I uh, took my mind off a little bit just because I didn't want to get depressed because I wasn't able to train. It was more rehab for me. But this summer it was more staying engaged and uh, just being indulged into the game, um, watching a lot of film on myself, other guys, just getting excited about just playing and, and competing and just looking forward to it. So uh, this summer, I kind of stayed with it more, actually. Adam Mares, DNVR. Hey, hey, Will, it's great to see you. Um, to what extent do you feel the team needs to create a new identity with Jamal Murray out this year? And what uh, extent do you think it's just putting new players in, in the identity you guys already established? I don't think we need to create a new identity. We already have an identity. Um, you can't, you know, replace Jamal Murray. I mean, that's it's just not going to happen. Uh, we just got to win by committee. Guys got to go to have bigger roles. And I think guys are looking forward to that and, and excited for that. And are going to be ready to meet the challenge. Um, not one person is going to be Jamal Murray. Um, like I said, other guys will get opportunities, and I know they'll be excited. And, you know, we still got Yoke, and, and, and we'll do it that way. we won by committee. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Will, good to see you. Uh, Bones Highland has described his relationship with you as like you're a big brother to him, and what does it mean for you to see him joining the team? And what do you think we can expect to see from him? Um, definitely my little brother, man, it means a lot to me. Um, like I said, he came in my camp when I think he was like 10th or 11th grade. He played on the Under Armour circuit against my AU team. And we we always, we always had a, a connection and I always was in uh, communications. Uh, to know his story, to know the adversity he's been through, um, it, it's pretty exciting to see him in, just in the NBA period. And now that we're on the same team, um, very excited. We talk on the daily. I give him advice. He asks me a lot of questions. And um, the, the, the good thing about Bones is he just loves to play. He loves to play. It's like a, a breath of fresh air to see someone young and energetic and, and just looking, you know, forward to their career and, and just wants to play every day. And that's, he, he just brings that energy around. Mike Singer, Denver Post. 
Hey, well, um, what does it say about the culture, the organization that's been established in Denver uh, with the fact that you, Aaron, Jamichael, Austin, all wanted to come back uh, and be a part of it? Uh, it speaks a lot. I feel like all the guys that you just named, um, you know, realize we have a good team. We're all in good situations. And we feel like, I think, pretty much I always feel like it's unfinished business. Uh, we really feel like that we have the pieces in place to be a championship team. Like I said, if healthy, we feel like we can win it. So I think everyone wanted to be back and be a part of that. And um, that just speaks to the talent we have, um, the coaching staff, the front office, from top to bottom. Christos Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hey, Will, hope you're doing well. How motivated you are for the upcoming season and what is the biggest motivation for you as a player? Oh, man, very motivated, very motivated. Um, I'm so excited, man. Um, I haven't been this excited in a while. Um, just to be feeling good, knowing I put the work in, knowing I got a lot of work in this summer, I got better. Um, and just looking forward to, to, like I said, just competing and and, and just playing at a high level. Um, we have a good team. Like I said, we have a lot of good guys, a lot of good talent. We like to be around each other. The, the locker room is always fun and light. Um, and I, just, I don't want to skip no steps. I'm looking forward to training camp. I'm looking forward to preseason. And I'm looking forward to the, to the start of the regular season. It's just, it's just being, being indulged and being happy with the little things, you know, most of the time guys say, I just want to get to the season. They ready for that. I think this, this, this season, I'm taking it back to the base of just being excited for every little thing. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Will, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Will, what are your expectations for this season and what do you expect from Jeff Green this season? My expectations is to win. That's it, just to win the championship. I think that's, a, that's that's all our expectations around here. I mean, we shown we can win regular season games. We shown we can advance. The only thing we, we haven't shown is we can get to the finals and, and, and win it. Uh, Jeff, you know, a, a veteran, a guy that still has a lot left in the tank, um, athletic, versatile, can play a lot of different positions, could defend a lot of different positions. Um, he's been on a good team, so I think he, he, he'll he be real good for us, man. Leadership, playing, all kinds of things. Just gives us a lot of different looks, a lot of different versatility. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Well, just a couple of things. One, you mentioned you're, you're, you're going to be excited for every little thing coming up in this season, and I'm wondering if that is as a result of just just veteran perspective. I mean, you've been around, you've you understand how short this is, and and maybe you appreciate it a little more. And then part two, um, just going back to Bones a little bit. You said he was a breath of fresh air because he was excited about just playing basketball. And I'm wondering if you see a, a little bit of yourself in him. Um, yeah, I mean, you hit it right on. Uh, like the last past two seasons, like I said, been a little injured, haven't really been able to get better in the off season. So when you're feeling good, you're feeling blessed that you can be able to do those things to get better. It's like you just, you don't want to take it for granted. Like I said, I, I was excited about, you know, running today, uh, getting in shape, uh, trying to finish first in sprints. Just that element of getting back to competing and just wanting to get better and um, looking forward to anything, not complaining about anything. How, instead of going into practice saying, God damn, how long is this going to be? Looking at it like, Let's just get better. Don't worry about it. you know anything else. When it ends, it ends. But just trying to you know conquer each day, each moment. And uh, with Bones, man, he does remind me of myself a lot, especially in that aspect. I remember, you know, I came in at 21 years old after two years of college, and um, <laughs> all I could think about was hooping. You know, he he reminds me of that guy. He, I mean, he doesn't know anything about you know the business side yet, the politics and things of that nature. All he thing he knows is throw the ball up, let's play. And that's how I was. Um, and it, it just takes me back. And, uh, and it's just great to see. It's great to see a guy with 
you know, his intentions are so pure and you like to see that. Chris Barlow, Altitude Sports. Hey, well, uh, I was curious, you, you mentioned your, your, your summer workouts and how much work you put in. I, I, I'd be curious to know how much of that included weightlifting. Uh, some of the guys that have come in have looked stronger and just looking at you here, your, your shoulders look a little more buffed. I wonder how much time did you put in in the weight room? Oh, man, Marlo, I'm glad you noticed that, man. You know, I'm a, I'm a naturally skinny guy, but I have got a little bigger, man. Uh, last season, I think during most of the season, I was around 178 to about 180. Right now, 191 right now. So I've definitely been putting a lot of time in in the weight room also, uh, lifting, doing a lot of core work, a lot of balance stuff, and putting on uh, muscle and uh, eating right. So definitely got a little bigger, feel a little bigger. Um, so yeah, I spent a lot of time in the weight room also. All right, we got time for one more. We're gonna end with Adam Mares from DNVR. Hey, well, I wanna ask you about Michael Porter's development this year. Is it important for him to be a, a pick and roll player, a dribble handoff player with Jokic the way you are, the way Jamal Murray is, or is his position as his skill set? A two-man game with him as Jokic is going to look different. Mike has got to be Mike, man. Uh, he's not Jamal. He's not me. Uh, Mike is Mike, so he doesn't have to do anything that he, that that he doesn't do. I mean, Mike is a scorer. Uh, he's a shooter. He gets buckets in isolation. He offers a rebound. He runs the court. He just he just has to keep doing that and get better. He doesn't need to do, do any one job. That's what I'm here for, to, to, to do what I do with Yo. And that's what Jamal is there for, to do what he does with Yo. Mike just has to be Mike and, and keep elevating. That's what we want from him. Keep getting better, um, coming and improving every year. That's his only focus. He, he, he doesn't have to try to fit into anything. Just keep being him. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Will. Marlo, I owe you dinner for noticing that, baby. I owe you dinner. You was on the thrill good list after that, baby. We got to get some food.